Hi everybody and welcome to a plan with me with my um, <clears throat> B610 inserts from Jacenia Printables. They have my tan hanging out in the corner here. I did already take the inserts out. I do like to take them out for um, when I actually am laying down all these stickers. Um, I am super tired and out of it because we had my son's birthday party today for his sixth birthday which was so much fun and so exciting and a total success which I'm excited about but I am exhausted as a result like I'm really exhausted so if this plan with me is all over the place I am pre-apologizing so I'm sorry guys but I'm super excited to be filming again. I have not been for the longest time or I've been filming and not putting videos up. I'm really, really hoping to get this one up though, guys. So um, first I'm gonna start off with showing you which kit I'm using. Um, this is the week of Father's Day. It is the week of June 11th through the 17th. This is the Jacenia Printables week on three pages with the listing um, fourth page. I love these inserts, but I am so excited about her new dailies, guys, if you haven't seen them. Um, you may be seeing them on my channel in July. Just saying, I do want to finish this insert out. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I told you it was going to be all over the place. Plan for the week of June 11th through the 17th. It is the week of Father's Day. And I just thought that this was a really good kit to use for Father's Day because it wasn't too girly. But it was a little bit girly because, hey, let's be honest, it's my planner and I want pretty stickers. So this is a kit I got from Sticky Essentials. I actually got this personally from her when I met her at the planner party um, in, last year, and which was super exciting. I'm super, super sad that I was unable to get tickets to go this year, but I was on a plane coming back from Japan. And so I'm so excited for all the people who do get to go, but I'm super sad I'm not going. Back to the kit. I'm all over the place, guys. Like, seriously. Okay, so... Um, the quote box says, where there is light, there's love. It's just this really pretty wood grain with some lights and fireflies and a little bit of florals there. And this is a mini kit, so you've got your full boxes, some appointment labels, flags, quarter boxes, half boxes. Heart checklist, flags, weekend banner, icons, bill dues, to dos, sidebar trackers, bottom washi, habit track. Oops, got it upside down. Bottom washi, habit trackers, and some cut strips of washi, so... Super excited, so if you would like to see this plan with me, keep watching and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing I think I'm gonna start with are some date covers. I did cut this sheet down to fit in my storage, but these are from Paper Blush Bar and they're just this really pretty light pink that I think will go well with the florals. You can see that, so I guess I should probably zoom you guys in a little bit. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take these really tiny date dots and try to get them in here. Sorry guys, I'm back and I have my white out. This is a Tombow um, Mono, but it is from Japan. <laughs> you can't get it here and I'm sorry. Um, but any of the Tombow um, white outs work really great. Might have been a bad idea guys because I pulled out these bow headers from the tassel planner and I was gonna use these do you think the two pink I'm gonna go for it I'm totally gonna go for it guys I'm gonna do it anyways even if the two pinks are completely different pinks I mean there are kits with like two different color pinks right like you guys are saying that I, I've got to do this upside down I'm so sorry I'm sure that's annoying I know there are some people who like don't like when people who um, film are flipping their planners upside down, but in order to get these lined up with these headers, I don't think I have much of a choice. 
I can't do it right side up. I don't know why. I've seen some people do it, but I am not good at that. Um, other life updates. My son, again, he's turning six later this month. We did have his birthday party like really early because we were hoping that um, we would catch all the kids before they were like gone for summer vacation. And um, we did catch a few, which was good. His best friend came. He's five, so it cracks me up when he says his best friend, but that's okay. Um, his best friend came. Two of his best, two of his three best friends, because he has three best friends. Because I mean, why not, right? Um, came to the party, and we had it at a place locally that uh, it's like a trampoline place. I'm sure you guys all have one in your town. Um, if not. It's surprising. I mean, it was a surprising a lot of fun, even for like my husband and I, we went out. Our youngest is only um, two. So we didn't really feel comfortable just letting him run around on his own. So we were out there with him and he had a blast too. Um, and it was even kind of fun for us. So, which was surprising. But the most important part was that birthday boy said it was the best birthday party ever which I think is the best compliment you can get okay so we got the start down now we've got another dilemma guys I know I'm already like what nine minutes into playing with me and I've had how many dilemmas I have pulled all the simply gilded washi because I I'm I do tend to like kind of um drift towards simply gilded washi I do have some others, but, you know, all these washies, and I don't know which one to use. I mean, they're all, they're all gorgeous, right? Like, just gorgeous. And I still, like, I should have figured this out before I started, and I still haven't figured it out. I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking about using this one, the polka dot bows. May not be the best choice, but I'm going for it, guys. I think it's cute. Okay. I got like five different shades of pink going, but you know what? I'm just going to not care about it today. These boxes, nor sometimes I like to, and, and you wouldn't know because I haven't, I don't think I've filmed um, a plan with me on my V6. Sometimes I like to do the boxes all in the middle. Um, and then sometimes I like to stagger them. I was trying to see if I could find a week. I do a, I do the all in the middle a lot because I think it's easy. Um, I will show you this one, but guys, like for real, I did not do good planning this week. But um, the kit was gorgeous though, right? Like, look at that. Anyway, sometimes I like to stagger them. This week, because all of these boxes have that same kind of shade to it, and they're all um, like this brown, I think I'm going to do a stagger just because... Otherwise, I think it's going to be like too much in one spot. And I'm not going to like have any rhyme or reason to my stagger. I hope that doesn't. Oh my God. And I don't have my undo. Okay, hold on guys. Okay, I'm back with the undo. So I don't, oh my God, did you hear that rip? It sounded awful. I hate the sound of that. Um, when I'm in my Erin Condren, I find that I don't use undo as much. But in the inserts, I'm like all over it. And I used way too much there. That's okay.
gonna save the other two for the weekend. I'm gonna save the weekend for when we get there. And we've got the quote box, which I'm gonna go ahead and put down while we're doing this. And I have discovered that with her inserts, this line, if I line the bottom of the box up with it, it lines up the full box with the top half of the week. The only thing I will say, and I'm probably the only person who has this problem, is she's got these lines and they're supposed to be the width of an Erin Condren size box. But guys, I can't, I have so much trouble getting them to line up without parts of those lines sticking out. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so the thing about my habit trackers, let me put my lid on my undo before I spill it all over the place. Um, the thing about the habit trackers is... No, no, I decided not to do that, I think. So we're going to do two, and these are for vitamins and my, um, okay, and so I pulled this header, and I, I can't show you, like, the sheet I'm pulling it from, because I hope that's, like, it's a this week header. It's really light. It's from a leftover, um, Little Miss Papery kit, because this kit didn't come with, like, any headers at all. Which is fine. Like, I have so many. But I like to do that sometimes now. Like, put a little header before I put my habit trackers down. I think it just gives a little bit of separation from the full box and just looks really nice. Okay, and so we're going to do the whole sidebar upside down. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. Well, y'all let me know in the comments. Does it really bother you if it's upside down or if I have the planner sideways? You know, well, the inserts sideways or what okay so for the um i'm pulling a header from the same little miss papery leftover kit it was one of her mystery kits from the fall and it's just a dinner's header because i do want to try dinners and which i think i want to use the lighter color here just think it'd be nice to bring it and i can see where i tore that paper right there it's driving me crazy can you guys see it Yay! And then I wanted to do a to-do. I'm going to go with a little bit darker color. And I need a strip of something. What was I going to use this to-do for, guys? <laughs> I do not even remember why I have this to-do. Oh, Instagram. Yes. Um, where's my Instagram? I was going to use a... Somewhere in here, I have an Instagram sticker. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so let's see. Sizing-wise, I need a strip of something here. So let's see. We've got some washi, I think, because I don't have any headers. Hmm, I'm trying to what, decide, like, what would look good by itself. And I'm thinking maybe this one... Let's see if this is too thick. Ooh, maybe one size smaller. Oops, uh oh, I'm lying. Okay, let's just take out the one size smaller and then it'll give me more room to lay this down. <laughs> I have so much trouble. I have so much trouble putting stickers back, but especially when they're this really soft buttery. Yes, I think I like this. This color will be a good contrast. And it doesn't look like too terribly weird. Anyways, I haven't been great about posting on Instagram either. I guess I could use this for YouTube too. See? Oh my god, and I'm tearing the paper. But I need you to line up, buddy. Okay. Is that crooked? No, that's not too bad. Okay, so I have these from the Coffee Monsters Co. I'm going to take the little tiny emoji. I'm probably going to use my tweezers. I'm, I jumped on the bandwagon like everybody else, guys. I am totally all over the tweezer thing. I'm going to put him in the corner so I can hang him down a little bit. 
Okay, so those are my to-dos. I want to my goals to post at least three pictures on Instagram this week. Okay, so that's the sidebar done. Let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So there's the whole sidebar. So cute. Okay, and now zoom back in for the day by day. And I am going to do something I haven't tried before. And it's going to be a little bit different, but I don't have a whole lot of stuff um, this week. So I'm marking work with the, ooh, goodness, laptop girls. She's really hard to get down. Ugh, guys. This is from My Newest Addiction. Then I have these from Happy Dia stickers, and they're just little work laptops, which is kind of redundant, laptop on top of laptop, but I'm doing it anyways. And I'm just gonna put this inside of her laptop, like that. And then we will go to the actual pre-cleaning. And for Monday, um, besides working, I need to do laundry. And I know I grabbed a laundry sticker and my gigantic, massive stickers. Guys, guys, if you could see me right now, there's stuff everywhere. Here we go. These are from Sweet Bella XOXO. I just thought they were really cute. And I think this color goes really well with this kit. And so we're just going to take that. Hmm. I think it needs something since she's just like hanging out. So let's see what we've got here. Maybe a, yeah, I'm thinking a quarter or should I use a half box? Maybe we'll use one of these decorative half boxes. Okay. So we're going to go with this one. We, oh no, that's right next to that. <laughs> okay. We're going to go with the floral. Which is going to put a floral on top of a floral, but I think it's going to be okay. So, that right there, like, super crooked, guys. I'm having, like, the worst luck with this. I love the this paper. I know I've said that. Um... It's so sticky. Okay, so we're going to just give that a minute to dry before we put the laundry sticker down. Okay, so also on Monday, we've got to clean, like, the whole house. And that's because of what's happening on Tuesday, which we will talk about when we get there. <laughs> and I grabbed a, somewhere, a cleaning... Sticker. I thought I did. Did I not? <laughs> Seriously though. How did I not grab a cleaning sticker? Stickers everywhere, guys. Stickers everywhere. I really didn't. Okay, well, let's see what she's got in the kit. I know she's got a few icons in here. So let's go with the, where's the, how, does she have a house icon? Boop, 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 uh, no, no house icon. Dang it. That would have solved my problem. She's got a vacuum cleaner and a spray bottle. I guess I could go with, I don't feel like that's. Okay, I'm just gonna get a cleaning sticker. I mean, that's, let me make sure. No. Yep, no cleaning sticker. All right, hold on. Okay guys, um, I got this from Pumpkin Paper Co. and I'm gonna use a cleaning 
Tara. Do you guys ever have the problem where you have so many stickers that you actually don't know how to use them all? I'm kind of there. It's a problem. I mean, a total first world problem, but problem all the same. Okay, so I'm just going to put her there into the full box a little bit. And I want to put this like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why? Don't. No, don't. Oh, what? Okay, let's see if we can get it up. So delicate. Okay. Now, let's try to put it down, but, you know, like not all over the place. There we go. And these, I'm sorry, I don't mention. Um, it says Plain with Emily, but she's now Emily's Papery. And I love her scripts. You should check, check her out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this laundry sticker just right here. I'm really glad I decided to use a half box. It needed something. I probably could use a washi strip now that I'm thinking about it. Well, too late. We're, we're moving on. And then the only other thing was I want to film a haul video. And for that, let's use, let's use a flag. And I'm going to go with this. I'm trying to decide between a flag and an appointment label. I'm going to go with flag. And do I want to put it this way just for some... No, I'm afraid because if I put it here, the icon's going to kind of like line up with that. Does that make sense? But if I put it over here, then I can't put it. Well, it's going down here. It's done, guys. Oh, oh, oh. only we're going to try to, I don't know, put it straight. Why am I having so much trouble putting a sticker down straight? So anyways, I've been really loving planning lately. Um, I know that sounds funny, obviously, because who, you know, would be filming if they didn't love planning? Which I haven't been filming, but I, I've really been enjoying. And I've got these from Moonlight Paper Co. I did cut the, the sheet down. It was for storage reasons. Trying to decide. I actually think I want to go with this orange, and I think I'm gonna do it in a like lighter shade. This is on a super buttery premium mat, so it's but it's really tiny and says home on it. And I think I can put that. I kind of feel like I want like a happy nail sticker. Oh my god. Okay, guys, I found a my Fox and Cactus Happy Mail Girls, and I'm going to use one of them. And I'm trying to decide, I think I'm going to go with her, where she's like throwing stuff around. And I'm just going to put her on the flag with the little film sticker, just like that. I think that's cute. Okay. So, filming my haul, I'm going to put that in my I don't need any more pile, and we're going to move on to Tuesday, and I'm going to try to speed this up, because we're, it's getting long, guys, it's getting long. Okay, so Tuesday, um, my son has a play date, and I'm only working half a day that day, so I have these from Happy Daya, which say half day, I think they're intended for school, but I use them when I only work half a day, too, and I'm just going to put it like that, which I think is cute. And I think I'm going to put the play date on a half box. And I'm going to do a solid one. I'm going to go with this cream colored one. And I think I'm actually going to put it at the top, even though it's not like totally chronologically correct, because I'll actually go to work and then leave early to come home for his play date. Um, and I don't like that. Sorry, if the bottom part's going to go over the full box, I kind of feel like it should go over enough that I can not see the white since it's got the rounded corners. Does that make sense? Now I'm trying to make sure it's straight. And now we got to let it dry. Is that straight? I feel like hard to see. Okay. I think it's close enough. Okay, so we're going to wait on that because I'm going to wait for it to dry. 
And the other thing we have to do is clean the bathroom that night. And I had these from Little Red Prince. I thought this color would be perfect. And I'm not using checklists this week because I haven't been doing great using them on the day by day. So I'm going to put that right there like that. It does put a lot of that color in that day, but that's okay. They're separated. Um, and that's it for Tuesday. Oh, so I have these from Once More With Love. They're her little buttons, cork. I don't remember which is which. This one right here with his tongue sticking out, I feel like that's going to be my son. You can see I've, I've this is a well-loved sheet. And, oh, before I put this down, I have Playdate by, um, oh, goodness, guys, Sweet Ava's Paper. Here it is. Sweet Ava's Paper. And I, because I don't like to write my planner. I know that sounds funny, but, oh, yeah, there's plenty of room. Okay, so we're going to put this just right there like that and then he's going to have plenty of room to be next to him so jr has a play date and that is done and that is it for tuesday so on to wednesday on wednesday um it is recycling day and i have my coffee monsters co trash and recycling guys and i'm just gonna use this little recycling guy and i feel like he needs something do i want an appointment label or a flag um we're gonna do a flag i'm gonna go with the cream color and just put it right underneath there like that to mark that we need to i'm on oh my god guys oh my god <sighs> come back up without the undo. I really don't want to get that undo out again. It makes everything all wet. Okay. Oh, I don't want the cream next to the cream then. Hold on. Let's go with the orange one. Sorry, that cream half box is there and I shouldn't be that picky, but I can be, so I'm going to be because I have plenty of flags. Well, not plenty of flags. I have other colored flags. And then I'm just going to put him there and then write recycle day next to it. I don't know why I put him like he's leaning over and going to fall down, but that's what I did. So we're going with it. All right. So the other thing for Wednesday, I'm going to sneeze, guys. <coughs> Whew. I have these clean kitchen stickers from Little Red Prince. I think I'm just going to use the same color that I used for the bathroom. Especially since I went with a different color flag. Oh, ooh. I like them the end. There we go. So I love these and they're got the little check circles on them, so it makes it look super easy. And then I want to try to get to the gym. We haven't been doing great with that, but I just really want to try to get to the gym. So I brought out gym stickers. I know I did. What'd they get? Okay, so I have found my gym stickers, and they're these ones by, from Crafts by Towie, and I wanted to use the yellow because I don't have a lot of opportunity. Plus, this sheet sticks out of my storage a little bit. You can see where it's like bent at the top because it sticks out of my storage. So now I can cut the top off by using the, the last two there. So I think I'm just going to put her right here into the full box a little bit where it's just the wood and I took two of them off because I'm going to try to work out another day and then I have these scripts from Rose Color Days they're just in her shop in gold foil um, and you can get them in all different kinds of foil but they're just under her scripts heading I really miss that she doesn't do the customs anymore and I'm just going to layer this over the bottom and centered like you can't even see there you go and that's it and then I'm leaving a little bit of space on most of these days Monday I'm not because I'm closest to Monday so I know what I'm doing Monday but the rest of the days I want to leave a little bit of room in case something comes up and then Thursday it is tree tree it is trash day so I'm just going to use another emoji which size did I use here did I use a little one I used a little one so I'm just going to use 
the little one with the brown. It's the one, this one, but in that size with the little brown stinky trash bag. And I can now set that one aside. And I guess I'm going to do the same thing I did before. And this time I'm going to use that peachy one or peachy one cream colored one that I didn't use before. And just put them like that. I'm going to write trash day next to it. And we also need to clean the floors this day. I'm being really ambitious with the cleaning this week. And I'm going to use a little cleaning berry from Grin and Barrett with the little broom. And I guess I'm going to put him in a half box. And I kind of want to do this one now that I'm away from that quilt box a little bit. Trying to get that straight. And I'm going to put him... Okay, so that I used on... Monday, which I set aside because I thought I was done, but I'm not. Ugh. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put the clean sticker. How do I want to do this? At the top. Like that. And then a little berry down here like that. Perfect. And I'll just write floors. Which I should probably just have written clean floors, but the least amount of writing that I have to do my planner, the happier I am. The other thing that I want to do is pre-plan, and I brought out these from Aria's Daydream, because I thought time to plan was kind of fitting. And I brought out these from Once Worth in Love, which is her tan love sheet, and I thought that these little plan open planners... I thought this looked kind of like I do when I'm pre-planning, so I thought that would be cute. And I'm going to put this right there like that. The time to plan may not fit, guys. Ooh. Let's see. First, I think I'm going to go with the orange color. And let's see if we can make this work. Okay, so if I do it like this, I'm covering that pencil up a little bit, but that's not a big deal to you. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way to... This way is not it. I wonder if I can move that once more with Love Sticker over just a little. This is getting so long. Oh my God, I haven't even gotten to the second part. Okay, so let's just scoot. And there goes my dog again. What a hot mess playing with me. I want to go into the half box. Okay, so we've got it scooted over a little bit. I bet it'll fit now. Without covering anything up. Yep, like it. Okay, super cute. And that is done. On to Friday. So let's, let's get going. Oh, it's pizza night and I didn't bring my pizza stickers. Okay, so first... Funny enough, we're going to work out. Ha, huh, I know. And, yep, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put her up here. I'm just going to go ahead and put her into the full box. Because, again, it's just that wood at the top, so there's not, like, I don't feel bad covering that part up. There's a lot of wood in the kit, so. Same workout scripts, which I'm now done with, because we're starting slow, guys. Two days a week will be an improvement. And, again, just layering this over her bottom. <laughs> like that so pretty okay then um i need to mark pizza guys pizza is important oh my gosh guys are you getting tired of watching me not have the sticker i need okay so i'm using this munchkin i don't have a lot of opportunity to use him her sorry her and i'm just gonna put her right there and that is to mark pizza. And then I need to film my plan with me that I pre-planned for the night before. So I have this sheet from Crafts by Towie. Um, it's her, I think it's her tan love sheet. And I'm going to use this brown one. I thought it was super cute. And do I want to use a box? I feel like it needs something. All right, guys. I got my whole sheet here and I'm trying to decide. 
haven't used a single quarter box. I'm going to go with quarter box. And let's go with this one that has lights also instead of a floral, but it's not the same like lights as I used in the half box previously. And I'm going to put this down on the bottom because if I do film, I film at night after the kids are in bed and sometimes after my husband's in bed, depending on the night. So I'm going to just put that, I'm going to put it on this side like that. And then I have these from Arctic Paper Studio and they're just scripts in gold foil. It's a plan. They were a $2 Tuesday. I love foil $2 Tuesdays and she's in Australia. So if you're in the U.S., the exchange rate is actually favorable to us. So I paid, um, it was less than $2 for that sheet. It was like $1.82 or something like that. Okay, and then I'm also, I know I'm going a little bit overboard here, but I'm also going to use a film sticker to mark that I'm not just planning, but I'm filming my planning. planning. I'm just going to put that, do I want it there or right in the middle? No, nope, I like it there. And it's just from that same Moonlight Paper Co. sheet and in the same orange color. All right, and then I've got a blank spot if something else comes up that day. So on to the weekend. We have a lot left to do here. We haven't even put down our full boxes, so let's get those. And usually, and I haven't done the washing in the bottom either. On the weekend, I actually prefer to put them, I lo isn't that satisfying when you see a whole sheet used? I like to put them um, next to each other, but I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to stagger these. Okay, so I do know I want to do it this way. I'm going to put this one towards the top with just a little bit of room. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Got it. Close enough. And then we'll just put this one down a little bit closer to the bottom. And then the white out. Okay. And that same washi that we were using. All right, let's see if I can do it this way without flipping it upside down. No, I can already tell you it can't. Okay, so. Nope, I can't. <laughs> ah! Okay. Oops. There we go. Ooh, ooh, don't pull up the white out. Don't pull up the white. Okay, we totally pulled up the white out. And it's too high. Ugh. Guys, I'm a hot mess. Okay, let's just do this. I hate to waste boat washi, but. The way my night's going. Okay. <gasps> I had it and then I lifted my finger up off of it and pulled at the same time. Okay. There we go. And got that and my slice tool. <laughs> this insert, because we're getting towards the end, it's like so fat in the middle and like you can tell I've been cutting this edge on like the other pages because they're it like it dips down right there oh guys it's like a whole bow worth of bow washi it makes me sad sometimes I watch plan with me's and people like roll it out and then they cut off the edge and they're cutting off like so much and it like gives me anxiety does anybody else get that way when they're watching people do it like like major anxiety when I see it. And I'm just gonna leave this up. I'm gonna flip around the flip around again. Okay guys, sorry my husband came in for a minute. So I'm gonna take the weekend banner. I had it pulled up when he walked, I was pulling on it when he walked in. And I think I'm just gonna put it at the top. Sorry, I'm trying to get it as straight as possible. Oh, super cute. Okay, so we can down and 
basics all down so we can get on with Saturday. So the only thing I have to mark for Saturday is that we would like to go see a movie. Um, and I'm thinking, I was thinking about using this, but I don't think the yellow like goes. I think it's just, I was hoping it would match the cream, but I think it's a little too yellow. So I'm going to use this from Simply Watercolor Co. It's from her Foiled Basics and it's just got um, movie type stuff on it. And I think I'm going to go with one of the marquees and I'm just going to go with the hearts. So cute. And it's in the gold um, star foil. I don't know if you can even like maybe see a little bit of that like, oops, but it is star foil. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this just down at the bottom. Uh, not at the bottom, but at the top of the full box, but like the bottom of that space there, like that. And we want to go see Solo, and I have these from Fox and Cactus. I've been dying to use them. I actually ended up with two sheets because I thought one of my sheets was lost and it showed up finally. I'm using one of these girls with popcorns. And I think I'm going with the brown. Going with the brown, guys, or the cream? I think I'm going to go with the cream color, actually. And I'm just going to put her on the side. And, like, maybe up a little. Yes. Just like that to mark going to see that movie. And that, I think, is the only thing I have to mark for Saturday. So, sorry. That's not exciting, but that's what we've got. <laughs> Sunday is Father's Day. I have my gold-foiled holidays from Rose Colored Days. I do have a Father's Day. I am going through these, so I'm on a no spend till like September, guys. And when you see my next few hauls, you'll understand why. I think I just want to put this on the full box, like above the heart. How's that going to look? I hope you can read it. There we go. That's super cute. Okay. Give you a little. Can, oh my goodness. It's the ice maker in my fridge. Sorry. Anyways, do you see that? I hope you guys can, there you go. Isn't that cute? Okay. Anyway, sorry. That, and then the only other thing I have to mark is that I would like to edit, and I'm going to use, I have, oh, I'm going grocery shopping. And I wanted to take advantage of the fact that I don't have a lot going on this day, and I want to use one of these bigger um, things on this Crafts by Towie sheet. And I just think the blue jean girl is going to go better. So I'm going to pull one of her. And let's see. I think I'm just going to leave this like that. I'm going to line it up with the full box there. Yes, that is super cute. Okay. Okay. I'm like totally digging that. I am all over the place. So I've got these scripts from Rose Color Days that say shopping on them in gold foil. And these were a custom. She doesn't do the customs anymore, so I'm sorry. But I think she has similar type scripts. And I'm just going to put this right here. And this reminded me that I, in order to go shopping, must meal prep plan. So I have these from Little Red Prints that say meal plan, and I'm going to pull one of these if I can get it up. Oop. Oop. There we go. And just put it over here. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space because I want to pull an icon I saw that she had in the kit. And it's just this little pencil. Which I thought would be super cute to mark i'm sure it's probably for like homework or something but i thought it'd be a cute way to mark meal planning although i wish i had left just a little bit more space do i care enough to move it though let's see how So I just shifted everything down there for that. So meal planning there, and that does also mean that I need to meal prep. Also from Little Red Prints, I have this meal prep sheet. And I have a little girl from Happy Diet that I'm gonna use. And I think 
that I went to use a quarter box. I haven't used a lot of those, so I'm going to put one of these florals down. I think. No, I'm going to do the lights because it's going to be right next to that floral full box. So. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to stick her up. She's she's going into the same space as the legs, but I'm not writing anything there, the, so that's fine. And then this meal prep sticker at the bottom. Okay, so now that I tore all that paper up <laughs> to get her in exactly the right position, because, I mean, it matters, right, guys? And I realized that the quarter box is totally crooked. Yeah, now I'm getting out that dude. Which, if I was going to do, why didn't I just do it before, right? Like, I, I spent all that time trying not to get the undo out, only to get the undo out. So, whoop. Make sure it goes down straight this time. So, so I went to all that trouble. Goodness gracious. Okay, she's not going to stick back down until she dries. We're just going to let her rest there for a minute. And the only other thing I want to do that day is edit. And so I have these from Fox and Pip. They're the In the Zone girl. I think she's adorable. And yeah, I'm going to go with the smaller size. I just don't think I have enough room for the bigger size. I'm going to use my tweezers and just stick her right there floating and I'm going to use a little edit sticker in the same um, orange tone as I've been using for the film if I can get it up there we go and I'm just going to stick that right next to her and then I'll write down what I want to edit which will depend on what I actually got filmed and what needs editing at that point Okay, now that she's sticking down. Okay, so now on to the like sidebar type stuff. So in the notes section, I like to put a cleaning tracker. This is from Crafts by Towie. And I'm sorry because I meant to bring the sheet so I could show you and I didn't. But I think this color works perfectly with this kit. And just putting that down there like that. And then I do also want to put, I want a, I think a half box. And here I am gonna do a floral. And do I wanna do, I think a little strip of washi here. I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of white space, but I wanna cover up this line. And I totally put that down and like didn't cover if I can get it up without tearing the paper. Okay. A little tear there, but not too bad. Okay. There we go. I had the lines peeking out a little bit, so. Now I can put this down. And just went right under the next week box. Probably didn't need the washi, but I just wanted to cover that lineup. I could have whited it out, I guess, but it doesn't matter. So I have these Aria's Daydream No Spins. And I just want to put this down here to remind me, hey, stop buying things. You're on a no spin. So it's just like a so crooked. It's just like so crooked. Oops. Sometimes I forget to put the lid back on it before I start scraping and I end up with like way too much undo because it keeps like pouring out. I go through those bottles so fast now that I'm planning an insert. I didn't used to go through those bottles that fast when I was in my Erin Condren, uh, when I was just in my Erin Condren because I don't, I, you know, the stickers lift up a lot easier off of the Erin Condren. I'm just trying to get it down enough to stay. We're just going to try not to mess with that too much. Okay, and I'm going to do my happy thought, and I want to use some washi, but I want to use some different washi, and I think I'm actually going to go with this new one I got from the, um, 
was it the May box, I think, that is peach themed. Let's see if I can line up this wording so the pretty with the peach sticks in the box. My no spin sticker is still not sticking down. Okay, there we go. I think it's stuck now. It feels pretty stuck. Okay, sorry, I can't cut to the other side because I'm a weirdo. Oops. Trying not to cut through the paper, guys. Yeah, I like that, and I think it kind of goes with like the whole rustic wood theme of the kit that we've got going. Oopsie. Stick down washi. I'm going too light on this. Trying not to cut through the, I've cut through the inserts. Oh my gosh, do you see this guys? Like it just keeps wrinkling instead of cutting. And this is a new, like I, I was watching Scribble Prints Co. Um, one of her videos and she was like if your slice tool is not working it's because the blades don't go get a new one and I went and got a new one this is the new one like this is the new one oh, goodness oh. washi caught on my tweezers and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the happy thought I do know that for the next week I have this from Little Miss Papery I'm going to put down. It was again left over from another, that same kit I put all, all the other headers from. And I, oopsie, <laughs> put it too far. Okay, we're going to put the lid on this time though because I want to get all this on the washi. Got it way too far to the left there. Okay, so I do know that I want to do that, and I think that's just going to be it, guys. Like, I oh, I know what I'll do. So for the happy thought, I have this from Pigeon, Pigeon Paper Company, and I think I'm just going to use one of these paper clips, and I'm just going to put it in the corner there. It's just a little bit of something something, you know? Okay, so that's all of that. We can go over to here. I'm trying to decide if I want to put this bottom washi. It's what I usually do, but it's, yeah, I do want to do it. I decided. Okay, so that's cute and done. And then I do have a top three from that same Little Miss Papery kit. And I like to put that over the priorities. And again, sometimes I just put these little headers down, not because they're really needed. I just like that they give it a little something. Tea sticking up over this, it's kind of skinny. And just like that. And then, um, oh, I have a no spin girl. Ooh, I put that no spin like right in the middle, forgetting that I had a girl I was going to use. Okay, guys, so. I rearranged that box a little bit to fit her in there and she's crying because that's how I feel with all the gorgeous things people are releasing that I could not buy. Well, I could buy. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. This is one of those scripts from Little Miss Papery. I'm expecting a lot of Happy Meal this week. Um, because again, I want to spend for a reason. 
And I got this sheet out from Pigeon Paper Company. And again, I think this is, I don't know if I mentioned this, this is her Camilla sampler because I wanted to use this little owl on the post office box. Okay, well the owl's down, so the rest of us is gonna have to go down wherever the owl is. Just like that, I think that's cute. Just to give it a little something. And I feel like I wanna do something else just because it needs some stuff here. I need some like hearts or bows or something. So I decided to use these bows from White Gear Stationery. They are gold foil. And I'm just going to go with this cream color up here. And again, I just want to, I like to add a little something over here. So I'm just going to put this next to the to-do and the don't forget. Just to give it a little something since this kit had like no deco or anything like that. Oh, you can see what I did with it. Don't forget. Okay. So let's zoom you out and see the finished pro. Oh. Whoa, guys, you can see my bottle undo. <laughs> okay, so pull it back over. This is the first half of the week. So cute. I am in love with that, and we'll give you a little foil wiggle. I hope you can see the foil. And the second half. And I'm super excited. I will put this back in my inserts. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the big red subscribe button to be notified of future planner videos. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm so happy to be back. And I'm super excited to be sharing more plan with me's with you guys in the future. Um, and until next time, happy planning.